We're live. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> welcome and join you. Welcome and welcome to joining <laughs> us. I can't speak today. I've spoken enough. Joining oh. us at our corner of the world, a spiritual corner called the 707 Show. Yeah. It's so awesome. I'm Moira Bush. And I'm Catherine Louise, the blue hair medium. <laughs> She's definitely got blue yep. hair, right? <laughs> I do, I do. Yeah, yeah. So, yep, so it, this is great. I'm very excited about this. You are? Super excited yeah. about it. You're looking lovely in your blue glasses and the blue hair, and it's so, actually quite a nice look on you, girl. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah I pleasure. know. I'm a little bit partial to blue. You're a bit partial so, to blue head, medium <laughs> just partial to blue. Just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> Well, um, for those of you joining in, welcome. This is the 707 show, and this is a show that's being created specifically so that spiritual leaders and teachers like myself and Catherine have an opportunity to have a chat, and it's like you're dropping in and hearing what we talk about, because what I often mm -hmm. found is we have some really serious talks about life and solving the world's problems, and nobody ever gets to hear the wisdom that comes out of us, especially after yes. a glass of wine or two. Yeah. Lots of wisdom comes out. There, it does. Yeah, it really but, uh, does. <laughs> yeah, here we've got mugs. I got juice today, darling. So I, I, that's so that's me. I'm not telling you what I have, but it's nice. It's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Uh, you've been partial <laughs> to a bit of gin lately, aren't you? Yes, uh -huh. I have been. I have been. A little bit of a vice, but it's good for you, apparently. So. <laughs> Everything's good for you if you have no judgment good for on you. it. Absolutely yeah. not. So today, the show, because we have a medium in in our midst, um, you know, we were kind of talking earlier what we're going to chat about, and we came thinking about a kind of psychic phenomena or yeah. people that don't know that they're psychic and they want to know, am I really psychic? Yeah, it's not just there's so many so many people out there that they almost kind of like doubt themselves, saying, mm. you know, like. I keep seeing this over here or this happen and I, I just can't, I, you know, like I'm not psychic. I can't be because nobody in my family is. Mm. And uh, it's really interesting when you get talking to people mm. like that and, you know, people are continually asking questions on, there's no way that I could possibly be psychic. Mm. And it's like, absolutely. Mm. Everyone is intuitive. Everyone has psychic abilities. It's strengthening up that portion mm. of your body it's like a muscle that you flex Absolutely. and it gets strong yeah. so we actually have a little bit of a competition going on to with with uh, tonight's show and our producer michael is going to have a look at who is sharing the show the most because you know we yeah. we have no audience if you don't share you've got to share on timelines you've got to share in groups business pages and share more than once or twice the person who shares the most we are going to assume that you want to be the lucky winner to get a quick reading at the end of tonight's show, a free psychic reading. Just a micro. Just a, a micro, a micro <laughs> from meeting. the Blue Head Medium. So it's up to you to be sharing the show and getting it out um, into the, the Facebook ethers, okay? And uh, and it went, it, it, will, it will also help if you go me, 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 okay? I've shared it many times. Let us know how many so times <laughs> you shared it. <laughs> so One, let's two, have a look who's tuned in hey, here. Sarah. Sarah. Love the I new blue do. do. Ama Amanda <laughs> Bradbury. Hi, Amanda, Amanda Bradbury is a, a fantastic astrologer, and she's based down in England and, and Italy, and she's just amazing. All the, she must be like past midnight, Amanda. Hi, Angela. Ah, uh, Catherine. How are you Paul? doing? Oh, oh you Catherine know Red. <laughs> Catherine Red. I'm going to be co-hosting with her in November. Yeah. So Zira. Zira. He's joined Hi guys. us. Let's see who else. We just want to make sure we say hello to everybody. Joanne, Joanne. hello Jojo. darling. And, and Vivian, also England. Rita, how do you get psychic? We have our first question. Rita's asking, how do you get psychic? Yeah. Everyone Ca is psychic. Yeah, it's but not, they it's just not a don't gift. understand it. No, yeah. it's it's something that is just within you, yeah. and you know it's just like the intuitive that gut feeling. So many people say, "Oh no, I'm not psychic. I'm not intuitive," and I simply will ask them, "Do you ever get gut feelings on yes or no?" Well, all the time. Yeah. That's your intuition. That's you know that's what that is. Yeah. How did you know you were psychic? I grew up this way, and I so like for me it was just kind of like normal, yeah. but. I started, um, I was seeing spirits yeah. at a very, very young age. Okay, now you're going to have so, to tell the audience what you mean by seeing yeah. spirit. Um, I saw people with no feet that floated. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Rita, if you see people with no feet that float, you know you're psychic. <laughs> but but uh, I, th I think for uh, everybody it's different. Everybody it has a different experience. Absolutely. Yeah, because it's, it's, you know, like we, yeah. it's just like with um, mediums, psychics, yeah. we all receive from the same same area, if you want to put it that way. But we're, it's just given to us in a little bit different manner. Yeah. So like some people, um, you know, they say, well, you know, when I'm uh, when I'm seeing things, I get these images or like pictures. Um, some people say like, you know, it comes like a movie screen. Others people, you know, other people say like something we like almost like a mist materializes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so it's everybody and it's I love hearing all these because um, it's great stories because it also validates mm -hmm. not just for myself but for other people that are in collectively in that group that you're not going crazy yeah. so many people think that you know like okay I see this dark shadow over here there's something wrong there's somebody in my house and they're like gripping at they their get chairs. scared they because do. it's a se yeah. sensation and a feeling you get and then you not yeah. realize that you're actually tuning into energy that's unseen yeah. and most people because it's new you you get frightened of it and scared Absolutely. because it's it's that feeling of i can't see what it is but i know something's there it's like yeah. i i know when i when i was growing up as a kid i used to be very scared to put my feet on in the, the dark on the floor <laughs> me too because there was there a was something man, under my bed, under the bed. Yeah. yes i'm not the only one yeah. <laughs> was that you guys i as well? was terrified <laughs> oh my gosh i was terrified yeah. if my brother's watching this he will be laughing his butt yeah. off because that is, you know, and that was one of my biggest things. And it's just mm -hmm. been recently where I have, you know, just taken, you know, like there is no fear there anymore. Yeah. But, you know, because it, but yeah, that's really, that's why I didn't know that it was like, yeah, yeah that's, and well, there's now, so many. My husband has now had a question answered that he's been, he's been uh, um, thinking about is why does Moira always want a bed with a very low <laughs> mattress? I don't like my bed. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't like my bed. <laughs> That's a memory it's, from it's two steps to get up to my bed. <laughs> you can hide lots of googlies <laughs> under there. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's um, you know, and so and, that, and Rita's that's saying it's one o'clock in uh, in, uh, <clears throat> in oh. Norway and oh. um, Norway. Wow. And I haven't, I haven't seen, seen floating, floating feet, feet yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just need a little bit more wine, Rita. <laughs> just a little bit, not too much. <laughs> Sarah so, said that was me too. Yeah, yeah. and, and uh, that's Sarah. Sarah, hi, Sarah. Sarah's actually going to be our co-host uh, next week on our show. Yeah, that's brilliant. We're kind of doing a whole panel with different, different teachers. That's lovely. Yeah. yeah. So, <sighs> I think that children that kind of get scared of the dark as well. It's oh. it's that psychic ability they still have that ability to sense things you know in oh, energy oh my and, gosh and you know creating imaginary frames all of that to me is psychic phenomena Sorry, and i have to hold energy. on because the children that are coming up now yeah. it is like it's like that cracker jacks and the surprise and the pink elephant popcorn i'm probably talking really old people there's probably younger ones going what the heck is that but it's just like you know, it's just like this whole bowl of, you know, sparkly Fruit Loops, mm -hmm. because all of these different colors and all these children and the knowledge that these children have. Like you have mm -hmm. a seven-year-old walk up to you and say, "You have really pretty colors," and sometimes it's just all white. And how, you know, like what is that? Why do I see that? Mm -hmm. Why do I see mm -hmm. colors? And you know, and these children that are, you know, that come up um, and just blurting out stuff. Yep. And, and they, like, they're here to teach us a thing or two, I think. Oh, absolutely. There are yeah. teachers. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I am just continually blown away. I hear a lot of parents who say that when, when the kids, they, they weren't, they were straight, narrow, corporate kind of do a job, earn a living and had that boxed in view of life. And then they give birth to these little crystal babies, little star babies, these children that's are just so just they just have these memories of 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 a time and a space that they bring with them absolutely and then the parents would say to me oh i'm suddenly i, I want an angel card reading and um but don't tell my husband you know but I, I suddenly feel i need a reading and i remember once in england a woman she was actually so pregnant and they'd struggled her husband was a doctor and they struggled to have a baby and um she said she suddenly craved crystals and she started bringing all these crystals into the house and and Luckily, luckily, her, her doctor husband was a little bit more open-minded, but it was it was the energy of this child that seemed to want to have crystals in the house and, and whatever the energy of yeah, crystals do. Yeah, yeah, it's just so amazing that, um, you know, and um, 
a lot of the parents are terrified because mm-hmm. they think that there's something wrong with their child. Mm-hmm. And it's like they sit in their room, they draw this thing and they're talking about this and they're talking about that. And I really think there's something wrong with them. And mm-hmm. it's just like, there's nothing, there's mm-hmm. everything right with them. Mm-hmm. And it's beautiful to see when the child is educating mm-hmm. and opening up the parents mm-hmm. and what happens and, and the bonding. And I've had that opportunity mm-hmm. and just seeing the whole evolution you you got grandchildren are they are they open or my uh all actually all four of them are Mm -hmm. my youngest grandson uh blake he's uh six Mm -hmm. and he's a riot because my father passed away uh four years ago and i say my five now and every time he comes, he goes, oh, there's Opa again. Does he ever come out of the barn? And he always sees my dad wandering around because my father's old truck is down there. But other children, too, you know, like they'll come up. And you'll know a child that sees things around you. And you know if you are from that area where they're from. Because children will just come up and they'll stare at you and just go like this. And they won't say anything. Mm. They'll just look at you. And then they'll smile. And, mm. you know, and it's because they're seeing something that is familiar in you. And, of course, you see the parents go, no, 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 don't stare, it's not right. But, you know, and of course, you're going, you're like, is there something wrong mm. with me? But they, they, they come up, and if you really pay attention to how they're looking at you, they're not looking at you, they're looking in you mm. and through you. And it's just, like, it's just amazing to watch and the feeling that you get. And it does, you know, it's freaks me out every now and again because these children are just so gifted that are yeah, coming so up. It, it's what we're saying is you're born with gifts you're born yeah. with a natural ability to be spiritual and psychic you have yep. can read energy but then we have this system that says because we as adults can't see it we try and kind of yeah. you know mm. disown it in the children and then we have to go and have tarot card readings and Reiki and healing wake and everything back study up again. chakras and all of this, yeah. this kind of stuff to remember what yeah. our children already knew, what we knew as children, but it wasn't something that was encouraged in, in us yeah, to Actually, cause, yeah, because in follow, our age group, yeah. you know, like you're, you know, you get up to a certain age and then it's just like, no, 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 you're mm. a storyteller, you're a liar, you're fibbing, you're... You know, like you're, you know, you do all of this. Mm. And, you know, that was the way that, uh, you know, like we predominantly Mm. grew up through that Mm. era because there was so much fear. Mm. And, you know, so a lot of people that are around my age and your age, you know, you shut it down and you kind of shut it down and you throw it in the back pocket. And then now um, you're starting to see these adults, Mm. you know, from about their mid 40 ish and up mm. are now starting to you know remember that I used to do it. and it's like okay I know mm. I can still do that and it's how do I do it they're the ones that are coming to the shows now and they're picking up the crystals or you know what you know like whatever mm. vibrational tool that they need having a tarot reading having an oracle card whatever it may be and bringing you know mm. and bringing them out we we and met at a show Yes, yeah, we did. I, uh, yeah. I, I remember I landed in Canada just under three years ago. And, uh, oh, hang on, yeah. Catherine's also saying something here. Yeah? Um, how do you support a child who's developing the psychic abilities, but the noise of being able to tap into people causes her some distress and confusion? Uh, we want to answer yeah. this question before I go back to how we met. Yeah. Um, okay, what do you think? Um, what would help? There's there's a lot of ways. Um, if I may bring in some yeah. some personal things, um, I work no, with uh, I work with uh, some children and have worked with other children because and that's exactly with yeah. a lot of parents. You know, they're they're you know their heads all over the place and they're getting angry and they just don't know why. Mm-hmm. And it's bringing them into a familiar area what they know. And the and the first thing is find someone who you are comfortable and familiar with whether it's a psychic and medium Mm -hmm. and mentoring what it you know whatever Mm -hmm. it is um a lot of you know a lot of people will Mm -hmm. you know sit and talk with a child and what i do when when a family or parent whoever brings a child is i bring crystals out crystals is wonderful every child i did did that with crystals and i'll bring out calming crystals i'll Mm -hmm. bring out you know like like the um Mm -hmm. the rose quartz Mm -hmm. and you know some green and you know what it does to me is is it gives the child um focus focus and discipline and a way to channel some energy through absolutely and it's it's 
and especially tools. I think tools are important. So I, I yeah. do I do believe crystals are very yeah. important for these these sensitive children. Yeah. So you need to put. So Catherine, I think maybe put or suggest some crystals in the space of that child. And yeah. and again, I think find somebody like Catherine suggesting that can say, oh, you you put this crystal on this body, or just let them start playing with it and. Yeah. Yeah, usually the Channel ones. It. Yeah, it usually the ones that you know, like that they normally start with mm -hmm. is, and it's interesting because you know I'll you know there'll be rose quartz, black tourmaline, green tourmaline. I'll have some kyanite, blue kyanite, mm -hmm. and uh, selenite, and something like that. And it's interesting because all children goes for all children go for the rose quartz, mm -hmm. and some will go for smoky quartz. But they inevitably always pick up a black tourmaline, which is very grounding, very protecting. Yeah. And so, so if they're psychic and they have those kind of energies, uh, they're looking for something and to it ground. Just kind of, they? you know, so that just kind yeah, of balances yeah. out that kind, you know, that yeah. kind of stuff. With my grandson, so if he's watching, he's gonna know now. Little black. Uh, no, this the is Riley. The, the, the Riley. The, yes. Hi, Riley. The, uh, the eldest uh, grandson. He um, is. Um, he's still kind of like sitting on the fence with everything. You know, he's he's eighteen yeah. and. And he was really, you know, struggling with, um, you know, what's right because he was, you know, hearing things and that. So, and for the life of me, I can't remember the name of the crystal, but a friend of mine who owns a metaphysical store gave me this one. She said, put it underneath his mattress. Yeah. So I did. And it was almost like instantly that first night, the next morning, he said, I slept really good last night because mm -hmm. he had a, uh, <clears throat> a girl that would visit him during the night. <laughs> 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 and uh, apparently she was quite cute, had blonde hair, and he goes, she just comes all the time, just when I'm ready to go to sleep. I said, to, well, tell her to bug her off. Just tell her, you know what, if you can't talk to me when I'm awake. <laughs> and so, yeah, so it's, and that's what a lot of children, you know, and so, yeah. you know, so many children, you know, they say that they see things and they're taught, you know, when they're talking, mm -hmm. that imaginary friend is real. It's, mm -hmm. you know, it's not somebody that, you know, that they've Just made Just because up. they're not in a physical body. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the gift of yeah. it. Yeah. Very few parents or adults um. will see what their child sees because it's looking through the pure innocence of that child's eyes. Yeah. And if you can take yourself back to there, then you would see it too. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I, 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 d I go back to our story. I <laughs> met you at a psychic fair. I just landed in Canada and you at the table next to me and um, you, had, you were doing readings. And you actually did a reading for me. And I did a, I did a reading that I'm doing which was based on the color yeah. system I work with. And uh, you did something that, you know, even, even though I know this stuff works and psychic <laughs> and spiritual stuff's real, you kind of threw me for a loop, girl, because you said to me, oh, you're going to move in two and a half months' time. And I'm like, no, we, <laughs> my husband and I actually just moved into a place and we're just settling into Canada. You're going to move in two and a half months' time. And you went to describe this place and a ravine and water and you mentioned Joshua and, and the whole kind of thing. And I walked away and I'm thinking... I really like this woman, but her psychic stuff is really weird. Anyway, exactly two and a half months later, we moved, right? <laughs> to Ravine View Way with a creek at the bottom. And we're in the whole area that's called the Joshua Creek area. <laughs> you were I had no on. idea. It you blew my mind on. too. Trust me, it still, it still yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. So, so, if, so, yeah, so every now and again, we, we kind of... Um, you know, we, we can we can support each other with information Absolutely. and help and, and yeah. just what you know, one of the things I like about psychics the most is they give people hope. And because I find that when people come to, to our tables when we do our exhibitions, a lot of them are on their lost legs, you know. They they've they they're fearful, they're frightened, they've tried everything, nothing's yeah. working and um, yeah, and they're just looking for, for, for sign of hope. Yeah. So th for some the direction. E some direction, yeah. yeah. So just a reminder, if you have tuned in late, we've got a competition running. If you share, share, share the show, because that's how we build our audience on timelines, in groups and pages, you might be selected by our producer to get a free mini, mini <laughs> micro, micro reading <laughs> from from the blue head <laughs> medium from Catherine today. So that will happen so at the end Janice of the show. Janice Eggleston says, how do we develop in... Uh, in, or intensify our own sixth sense. It's a muscle. It's, yeah, it's working with it. It's just like mm -hmm. anything else. It's like weight training. But what you're doing is you're training your energy. Um, not your brain. You're training your energy. And the mm -hmm. other part of that is trust. 
and you have to trust that what is there is yours mm -hmm. and you know so there's you know there's a belief system mm -hmm. behind it as well but it's a different type of a belief system mm -hmm. so you know it's just and you know it's just like anything else if you don't lo use it you lose it mm -hmm. so yeah. you know so it, it's um and that's you know me, you know going to meditations um you know, trying to find a weekly a group. Way. Yeah, and find also a group work. Group work. Excellent yeah. point. You know, going to finding yeah. people that are like minded, that are mm. you know, that are building, mm. and you know, so and you know, getting a group together mm. like that. Yeah. You know that that type of stuff. So anything yeah. like that, where you're where the energies are the same, because even though you feel you're weak in here, and someone else is like, oh my gosh. And I have to admit, I was exactly the same way. I, you know, there's times I am intimidated by, mm -hmm. you know, other readers, mm -hmm. other psychics, other mediums, because, you know, these people have been doing it forever and, you know, they're famous mm -hmm. and it's like, wow, how do they do that? And the more that I'm within that energy, that's why I love doing shows. And that's why you see so many people coming to shows. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you'll talk to someone who's situated right by the front door and they'll watch a, a certain people or a few people and by the time they're done doing the circuit these people are bouncing because yeah. you know like everything is just starting to you know poof open because yeah. they're in that energy and around the same type of people yeah so so when when you do a reading um what how how does it start i mean you, you're going to demonstrate it with a mini micro reading for our winner who shares the most posts tonight but how yeah. well how do you approach it how does it work is there do you have to go into clear headspace do you have or is it just automatic switch it's, on how does it work it's, i really in all honesty don't know it just kind of happens uh -huh. when um i'm giving a skype or phone session it's done differently yeah. because but even like in person working with the energies so it's you know it's working you know it's it's feeling and what's going mm -hmm. on you know within the person so it's you know getting into their universe into their galaxy yeah. Because I see, you know, seeing things just a little bit differently, yeah. And that, so yeah, I I have I've watched when you've done a reading and 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 I said to you, Catherine, this is going on, you know, what what's your feeling about it? And I kind of consult you informally as friends do, you know. <laughs> then you you do this. You take a breath. <laughs> so that's when I know you're tuning in. <laughs> oh, okay. I never really that. There you go. I take a breath. <laughs> but that's also part of the discipline is so, we learn breathing techniques yeah. and that helps us tune in. So um, we're going to ask our producer, Michael, if, if he's got somebody that has been sharing. Can you figure out who's been sharing? No, he says no. He's shaking his head. Okay. So um, we've had Zara, Joanne. We've had Catherine. We've actually had twenty-three shares, but I can't see. Wow! Them thank you. At the end of the show, so I apologise. <laughs> so we've let me down. Yeah, we've we've put him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he can't actually say who shared the most. So um, I, <laughs> how are we going to pick someone? Okay. First person to type in me, 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 you're going to get the reading, okay? If you're tuned in live right now and you're typing me, 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 you're getting the reading. We're going to see right. we really can go fast. <laughs> Let's see we can go fast. <laughs> okay, you're and right. who's got the best uh, connection? <laughs> <laughs> all right, who's going to have a reading? Got a lot of love going on there. I like that. Oh, yeah, they're all saying hello. It's like a family, yeah, it a is. spiritual it is. family chatting to each other. It's really brilliant, guys. So um, there we go. Sarah. Oh my god. Okay, oh my hold that. We got the. Mimi, Mimi, Mimi. Okay. Um, the first person, we said the first person with the fastest fingers. Who was that? Uh, that Scroll would down. Be Sarah. Sarah. Is that Sarah de Felice? Yep. Sarah. Okay, oh, girl. Sarah. Okay, she's all yours, girl. Okay. Wow. There was the breath. Did you see the oh. breath? <laughs> Wow, it's um, you she's a kind of has an advantage here because um, um, I watch Sarah and uh, and that so, and we just haven't really been we really haven't been able to connect and I know that she's been doing a lot of work on herself. Um, there is. Uh, Okay, let me see. I'm looking at her this way. So, okay. Oh, on your right shoulder, Sarah, there's, there's, and it's literally a block. It's like there's this box, but it's very, very heavy. 
it's sitting on your right shoulder, but it's just kind of sitting. Um, they just threw at me um, the video that you put up on, on the weekend um, at that retreat that you were at. And she was standing and showing, and so that's why I was trying to gauge on what. But so there's this what, and it's like a box. It's like a black box, but it's a it's it's not a box. It's an actual weight. So you really need to go in and see what, and that's the feminine side. So what is it that you're afraid to just totally let go of and just let, and you know, just letting herself fly, because it's almost like you've put. Um, Oh goodness, they just gave me an image and don't you dare do this, nobody. Um, they just gave me an image that, um, you know, that you're so afraid of allowing yourself to fly to the level where you're meant to be flying and grounding at that level that you've put this weight, but instead of tying it around your feet and throwing it into a river like the cement shoe type thing, you've set it on your shoulder so that you can, your feet are continually grounded where you are right now it's time to pop that off it's time to let it go and just allow yourself to rise up you're not going to float away but it's time to just bring that up to where you are in your energetic mind it's now time to bring the body up to that point once you do that there's going to be a lot of flipping around and you're literally going to be hearing this snapping and you know it's you're going to be looking around because you're, it's going to sound like somebody's snapping their fingers at you. But every time you hear a snap, it's just like, okay, she's got it. She's got it. She's got it. She's got it. And, um, and they're also bringing in, and I'm not really quite sure why they're saying this, but it's time to put down the camera and bring yourself into the picture, which you already do. So I'm not really quite sure what exactly that means. It's, you know, because it's yeah. like, because I know like when you're filming yourself, you put the camera down, but there's, so they're needing you to, to actually step into that, um, the fourth, you know, the, the fourth dimensional body, which you step into quite a bit. And I don't think you realize how much you actually step into it. So we'd love to hear uh, what Sarah thinks about that and, um, and whether that was useful at all. And if you have any comments as well for anybody watching, did you like seeing Miss Blue do a thing? And <laughs> uh, she's here. This would probably be from last night at TIFF. <laughs> so there's a re there is a resonance for you here, Sarah. <laughs> well, if you're curious about who the Sarah de Felice is, if you've not yet mm -hmm. met her, she's actually going to be the co-host uh, co next week. Yeah. So. We could gossip about your yeah. reading then. <laughs> yes. And she's awesome. So you'll yeah. you will really want. She's so inspirational. Yeah. I just adore yeah. watching her. Yeah. She has this fairy energy about her. And it's very fairy-like. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, and yeah. she's just got a little bit of, yeah. of this gold angel smacked all in there. And it's, mm. uh, yeah, it's just like Shannon last week. It's just yeah. like delicious. <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I could have so much fun just sitting here every week and just going, oh, look what I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're coming back again in November. I am. And um, we, we're, we're, we're kind of doing a panel and rotating co-hosts on, on the show. And if you've liked the show, we, we sincerely hope that you share it. And not just tonight. Go back during the week if you can and put it back on news feeds because you know the whole thing with with the facebook shows is it disappears down the news feeds and people miss it so when every time you comment on it or you share it it pops back on news feeds people can see it and and then they 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 can benefit from a bit of advice and again this show is done with the intention of giving people hope and um and showing that it's safe to come out the spiritual closet yeah. talk in public about weird and wacky things yeah I it's mean, you're about as weird and wacky as I've had here <laughs> <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Blue head, medium and all. <laughs> what can I say? But I'm proud to call you a friend. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it, um, it's great. Oh, it's all about, yeah, she was at a week, um, weekend. It's all about letting go of patterns. And then she was saying she did a quantum sound healing. So, yeah, yeah so that's really popped something out of your, out of your energetic body that was stuck. And it wasn't like stuck right definitely like in through the center part of you. It was off to the um, off to the left in behind you. 
so it's you know so that's where I you know so now it's creeping up so mm. time to let it go time to drop the box girl <laughs> drop the box drop the box <laughs> yeah drop the camera and get yeah, into the picture yeah, drop the camera weird, and get into the picture <laughs> <laughs> But, but that's the great thing about psychic readings is sometimes it doesn't make sense in the moment and then you percolate it and you let it sit yeah. for a while and then it, it was like when you said to me you know i was going to move in two and a half months time and it was like at the time i thought you know this is nuts but it happened and sometimes over a period of time you know the message sinks in and it becomes clearer as well when you said to me oh no we just moved i, d I don't think so she goes but oh <laughs> she goes i'll think about it and then <laughs> I try not and to dismiss said, anything or say no. <laughs> yeah, and then I get a phone call. Well, remember the reading that you gave me? And it was like, yes. And it was just like, oh, my gosh. And she goes, we're moving. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> so, my darlings, um, I think we have to wrap up the show. I know. Yeah, it's, it went quick, didn't it? It did. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah. Well, but you're going to come back and do it again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. It's a lovely message from Joanne oh, for you. Oh, thank you, Joe. She does look great on camera, doesn't she? Oh, she yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our Joe. Mm. <laughs> Keep shining bright, Beautiful. wonderful. Beautiful, absolutely to see your face. gorgeous girl. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. Thank you. Yeah, and the comments. It was really exciting. Yeah. 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 And we Thanks, will see yeah. you next in. week, Tuesday, 7.07, .07, with our guest. Sarah D. Felice. Well, not guest. She's a co-host. Yeah. I must stop saying guest. Yeah, We're not I know. Guests. Yeah, co host, co -host. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, that's, you'll you'll want to have to check in with Sarah. She's uh, she's, uh, she's awesome. Oh yeah, and where she, and where things come from for her. Wow. Yeah. yeah. See you next week. Ciao. <laughs>